Okay, so out here at a new location, the wind has changed a couple times. Originally, the uh, wind was from that way, giving me a clear takeoff, but now it's blowing straight into these little storage sheds. So I'm going to try it. I think I have enough room to take off. Uh, if not, I'm going to abort it and then call it a day. <sighs> but we've only got limited time. The sun's already about to freaking set, so... <sighs> I'm going to try to send it. <laughs> I don't know if I can get away with a crosswind takeoff, but I just shoot straight out there. I don't know. I'm kind of sketched out by these things. But we're about to find out. Do I have it in me to get a short runway takeoff in? I think if I immediately hammer power, I think I'll be okay. The keyword is think. We made it! Woo! So this is Martinsville, Indiana. I'm gonna get up some altitude here. Man, it's beautiful. So one of the mistakes in my last video was that I uh, didn't have the mic close enough to my mouth. So that's one of the reasons why you couldn't really hear me in the last video. And it is beautiful. It's not really bumpy at all. The winds are a little switchy. But uh, overall, yeah. It's getting very chilly up here too. I'm glad I put on this jacket. I wasn't going to, but I'm glad I did. Wind is staying steady. It's a beautiful day. Look at all the little towers out there lighting up. How awesome. Look at these hills. This is beautiful. So amazing. Rivers down there. Oh, I think I turned my Bluetooth off on my phone. That's why it's not working. That's a shame. I'm going to come down to a cruise here. I've been climbing for a second. Try to get my phone out of my pocket here. 
Oh, the zipper's so high up on this jacket. There we go. I always like to keep a little throttle because I'm always afraid the engine's going to die. How beautiful is that sunset? It's insane. I almost didn't take off again today. So like I talked about in the last video, it's one of the kind of risk assessments you have to take when doing this. You have to pick good flying days, and I was kind of nervous um, because the wind was switchy really bad at the beginning of this flight. And it felt so good. I've never taken off from here for one, and for two, I uh, the wind switching kind of made me nervous because those freaking storage barns, the mini barns, but uh, it all worked out. It's been awesome so far. The engine's running kind of rough. Of course, it's a two-stroke. Getting some crosswind here. It's definitely wanting to point me towards the river over there. time it is. Trimmers are equal. Alright, I gotta put it down. Look for my windsock. The sun is slowly fading away, and it's getting dark in my sunglasses here. I think the wind's exactly the same as it was. A little bit shifted. Beautiful landing. That was so fun. <laughs> oh, I'm tangled on my GoPro again. <laughs> Dude, perfect timing. Look at the sunset. Oh, okay. That was cool. Challenging flight. So I think I'm going to title this video, Do or Don't Paramotors. Uh, I mean, that's one of the biggest things I face. I get nervous when I fly. And so, like, this is a super, this is like out of my comfort zone. And I really, really debated on not doing it from here. And so, 
the actual quality content of this video might not be as good. I didn't really talk about much. Um, but it's just risk versus reward. So you kind of have to gauge that by yourself. I don't like to fly in turbulent weather. And even just the little bumps that I experienced just then, it was a little unsettling. But I think it was better than my last flight due to the extra wind that I had because last time I flew there was like no wind whatsoever and now I had good wind and this landing was like probably one of my best landings so far. I was right on where I wanted to be. Uh, like the flare, I bled out a lot of energy and just kept going and then I popped it and the flare was still there and overall it was just awesome. Like especially when you go for a while without flying. The adrenaline gets you. Like, when I was flying uh, really consistently, especially during training, like, it just felt kind of redundant and the adrenaline dump went away. And so now that I haven't flown in like a month, the, the adrenaline is like pumping when you're taking off, especially when I just did that in front of these barns. Because, I mean, realistically, there would have been no bailing. If I got off the ground and wasn't going to be able to make it over these, it would have been game over. I would have just smacked into, right into the side of one of those things. And that would have been it. I probably would have not felt so great. These people would probably be really mad because I would have probably destroyed one of their barns because they're really flimsy. But I'm just uh, really happy with that. And be responsible when you fly. I would say push your limits. But don't overdo your limits to where you're going to hurt yourself. And sometimes those boundaries aren't crystal clear like this. And you just kind of have to go with your gut. And even maybe past what your gut thinks. And you'll see results. I really probably should have took, kept my sunglasses. Took them off and kept flying because the sun just set. 7-Eleven is legal sunset, I believe. But... I didn't, I don't know if my strobe is charged, because this was kind of impromptu, but dude, this is probably the last nice day of the year, and taking advantage of this warm day with calm winds, because I've been trying to fly this whole month, no luck, every single day has been very windy, or I've been at work, and now it's like, the perfect times just come when you least expect them, and that is one of the beauties about it. And, I mean, freaking 12 grand, you can get up in the air and fly around. I didn't really go anywhere, um, because quite honestly, I was still nervous in the air about the wind. But it wasn't bad at all. I got a little bumpy for a second, but... Your mind plays tricks on you. And I overthink a lot. So just like my last video, the upload about the paramotor swing arms. Uh, I mean, mine have a little play in them, as you've seen, if you saw the last video. But the swing arm didn't snap. And I didn't come barreling out of the sky. So I would say that is a big old dub. And this thing's cool, too. I'm going to link this in the bio, all these things. This little kite streamer, it's awesome. It's like the perfect windsock. And you just like, it's like a fishing pole, kind of. And I have heard of people using very long, like, catfish poles for windsocks. But this thing freaking works like a charm. And it shows you very light winds, too, so some heavier wind socks will always show heavy winds. They're light winds because they're so heavy. But these things, you could probably blow at it with your mouth and move them. So, all right, I'm going to pack this up, call it a day. How fun. Thanks for watching. I know I ramble a lot, but I hope you guys get some sort of entertainment out of these videos. If you do, 
drop a like and hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to grow this channel. Trying to get the dirt bike running again. Had to replace the brakes, but parts fell off of the bike during a race, and I had to order new parts. So that's going to be up soon. It's getting cooler out, so I'm going to be more apt to ride my bike. And I'm going to be introducing street moto vlogs soon. If uh, if we have another warm day, I might release one of those. But it's not looking too promising. A lot of cold weather coming our way. 